Hey everyone, it's Jojo, and welcome to a Beyblade Burst Battle. Today I'm going to be showcasing the awesome power of B Kukulkan. And surprisingly, it's an awesome, awesome attacking Beyblade. So this is just a stock combo. B Kukulkan 7 under Hunter. And yeah, it's got some really good attack power. I'm going to be putting it up against some defensive and stamina type combos. So first up, we have the infamous Drain Fafnir Polish Atomic. And this one I kind of just threw together. This is Screw Trident, Four Star Planet, and another infamous Beyblade. Maximum Garuda 7 Flow Atomic and a very nicely balanced stamina type Beyblade. This is Blaze Ragnarok, Ragnarok 4 Glaive Revolve and another stamina type. This is Ultra Chronos 4 Flow Bearing and another Beyblade I kind of just threw together because I thought it was really cool looking and it's a pretty heavy Beyblade. This is more like a stamina defense um, combination or so like a balance type. This is Galaxy Zeus. 7 bump revolve with the metal god chip and this awesome left spinning Beyblade Arc Bahamut for Glaive Destroy. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do three battles for each Beyblade and I'm not going to keep any points, I just want to show off how awesome BK is. So let's get started. First battle, Blaze Ragnarok for Glaive Revolve. Round 1. Three, two, one, go. All right, we got a few good hits in the beginning. We lost that flower pattern, but let's see if we could give it a burst. Oh, so close. Let's see where Blaze Ragnarok is at. It was only one click away from bursting. Round two. Three, two, one, go. Oh, nice hit there. That probably would have been an over finish. It looks like Blaze Ragnarok is just dodging all the attacks. And here are all the attacks from DK. He's got some really good pushback, but again, one click away from bursting. Alright, this is round three. Let's see if we get that awesome burst. Three, two, one, go. And there we have it. A burst finish. Next battle, screw Trident Four Star Planet. And I forgot to mention I put the red WBBA god chip in there because the original screw trident chip is very loose so this is going to be a little bit more burst resistant round one three two one go BK didn't do so well there, and there's no clicks on Screw Trident. Round two, three, two, one, go. All right, that's a nice wind up from BK, but is it gonna be enough? like it was enough but it was halfway to bursting all right last chance for bk three two one go in the very very last second that was awesome next battle galaxy zeus seven bump revolve round one three two one go first finish in the first round round two three two one go Oh, 
Wow, double burst. Round three. Three, two, one, go. Three burst finishes. I'm surprised that Galaxy Zeus didn't hold up. It was so defensive. Next battle, Alter Chronos for Flow Bearing. Three, two, one, go. Oh, burst finish again. Round two. Three, two, one, go. Double burst. This is like a repeat of the last battle. Round three, three, two, one, go. Not enough stamina for BK, but let's see where Alter Chronos is at. Oh, only one click, so not bad in the last round. All right, so the battles are getting a bit harder for BK from here on out. We have Drain Fafnir Polish Atomic for the next battle. Round one, three, two, one, go. <laughs> My goal was to knock out Drain Fafnir, but it didn't seem like it's working. And here comes the spin ceiling. And of course, Drain Fafnir gets that round. Round two, three, two, one, go. <laughs> So close, so many opportunities for knockouts. Oh, close one, but it did seem like Drain Fafnir got that. All right, last chance for BK. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Doesn't look good. Even though Drain Fafnir is really tilted, that polish is still gonna help it get right back up. And of course, Drain Fafnir wins the battle. Alright, next up we have the infamous Maximum Garuda. Seven Flow with Tomic. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Round two, three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, what, what is happening? Why is Maximum Garuda banned? It could get bursted by Beat Kukulkin. Alright, last chance for Maximum Garuda. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> and it looks like Maximum Garuda is gonna get this round. And it does, but man, those bursts were amazing. <laughs> Two out of three. And last battle, we have Arc Bahamut for Glaive Destroy. And this is supposed to be really resistant against right spinning attackers. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh, 
It's a close round. Oh, and of course, Ark Bahamut gets that. And only one click. Round two, three, two, one, go. BK is landing some really good hits, but it doesn't seem like Ark Bahamut is faltering at all. Ooh, close round, but I think Ark Bahamut got that. All right, last round. Three, two, one, go. Ark Bahamut is just really, really cool. Like, it just looks like it's re deflecting attacks. Gonna be close. And Ark Bahamut gets that last battle. Alright, so that's it for this video. And I still believe that Beat Kukulkan is an awesome attacking Beyblade. And I was not expecting it to burst Maximum Garuda twice. That was just amazing. But yeah, Beat Kukulkan 7 under Hunter. Very, very worth it. Alright, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to favorite and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time with more Beyblade Burst. See you soon.